Hey guys, it's Jarek the Arab Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. Gun of the Chrono today. This one is of a very cool gun. This one is of the... But this one has a million different names to it. The Umarex H&K Ares G36C. Now the reason it has those, that many different names is because Umarex licenses it through H&K and it's manufactured by Ares, so... Not to be too confusing. Anyway, we got a 9.6 volt battery that will fit in the foregrip and a fully loaded 470 round high capacity magazine with 0.2 gram BBs. It also is a working bolt catch as you just saw. If you want to buy this gun, there's a link right below to RDA's website. There's also a link below to RDA's form where you can talk to the community. So let's see how hard this thing's shooting. All right, so feet per second first and something else to show you. See, it's fully licensed by H&K. Thumbs up there. But yeah, semi-automatic, 0.2 gram BBs, 9.6 volt battery, feet per second. 296. 358, there we go. 377. 351. 351. 364. 359. 365. 361, 360. So it seems to be averaging right around 360 feet per second, which is about good for a gun around this size. It is a compact model. With their longer models, you're going to see the feet per second raised to around 400 and their longest model around 420. So this is the best feet per second for what you really need it for. Most people are going to be taking this one out into woodland because you just do. But the G36C is so versatile, you can take this into CQB as well. Let's go ahead and do rate of fire, 9.6 volt battery, and this is not with the blowback disabled because this has automatic blowback connected to the piston. If you disable the blowback, which is just as simple as unscrewing one screw, uh, the rate of fire will jump just a little bit. 840. 830. 820. 820. So it seems to be around the 800, 850 rounds a minute range, which is perfectly respectable. It's about what you want. You don't really need anything more and you don't need anything less. All right, so now it's time to shoot a can. First, semi automatic. All right, let's go full auto. It didn't look dead. All right, so here's what's left of the can. Pieces are scattered everywhere. I mean, there's little tiny pieces just all over. There is not anything left of this. So if you get shot with this, you're definitely gonna know it. All right, so as you guys just saw, this thing's shooting about 350 feet per second, 350, 360, and 850 rounds a minute. For pulling this bolt back every time, that's pretty dang respectable it's getting 850 rounds a minute. I mean, 850 is good enough without pulling a bolt back. And the internals while you're shooting it, it's one of those things you have to pick up and shoot it to really understand it. It feels really smooth. The quality control, you can definitely tell it's there. This thing isn't going to break on you. It's one of those things you pick up, you start shooting, and you know you got a reliable gun. It's kind of like when you pick up an AK, you know it's not going to jam on you. So once again, if you want to buy this gun, there's a link right below me to RDA's website. There's also a link below me to RDA's forum. You can talk to the community and ask some questions. Although if you do ask questions, I I ask that you stay for a little bit of while instead of just asking one question and leaving. So with that said, that has been the chrono of the Umarex H and Gay Ares G36C. Dragon! <laughs>